case for the existence of God and his presence in the Catholic Church is arguably beyond reasonable doubt. The journey in finding this truth, however, is much more than merely satisfying our curiosity. Everyone has a natural yearning for the truth, for meaning in life. It is everyone's responsibility to seek out the truth. Once discovered, we each have a responsibility to respond to the truth. It is wonderful to have knowledge of the truth. It is intriguing and delightful. For this truth to have real meaning, it must spread from our heads to our hearts. The sentiments that are rooted in our hearts are the ones that we act upon, that we commit our lives to. When we turn to prayer with God, do so with our hearts and our heads. This way faith becomes more of an experience than just a good idea. It is an experience by which we are blessed and an experience of love that we get to share with others. It is by sharing our faith that we help build the kingdom of God on earth. God has a plan for each of us for each day. We don't have to worry about what this plan is or if we have the strength to do it. We just need to pray for grace from God to do his will today. We need God because we can't do it alone. The problem is that life is very distracting. These distractions can hinder us from taking time out to pray or meet Jesus in the sacraments. We need Jesus' help, but we don't get to ask him for help. We don't make the time for him. Making time for Jesus, therefore, must be a very decisive action. On awakening in the morning, before taking a step out of bed, consider making a habit of asking yourself the question, today, is my life centered on me or God? If you choose God, then be decisive about making time for him today. Center Pass is an app that was made to help you actively seek out God on a daily basis. It has an alert setting to remind you to decisively center your life on God today. It also has an alert setting for midday and 6 p.m. to consider taking a couple of minutes to pray the Angelus prayer. This is a prayer to help keep your mind on the big picture, life's purpose. It is a reminder that Mary's yes to God allowed God make his grace available to everyone through Jesus. This sets the example for us to also say yes to God in all things and ultimately to unite ourselves to Jesus for our own salvation and to help others to do likewise. The Center Pass app also has four main sections that mostly capture areas by which we need to relate and respond to God. Prayer, action, study and sacraments, collectively referred to as the Pass in Center Pass. The prayer section allows you to connect to the mass readings of the day, to a spiritual reflection on these readings, read a daily piece from Sister Faustina's diary on Divine Mercy, learn about the rosary and set prayer alerts. The action section gives you insights on how to witness to your faith directly to others or through authentic social justice. It also allows you to find faith support groups or even set up a new group. The study section gives you an overview of this course and helpful links to other study resources to help you grow in your knowledge of the faith and therefore grow closer to Jesus. It also provides a link for the saint of the day and provide links to relevant news and media resources. The sacrament section helps you to find mass and confession times. It also provides guidance for examination of conscience. It is worth considering what other ways we can use available technology to increase our connection opportunities with God and in service of each other. At any moment in the day, when you feel burdened, identify what is burdening you and then ask Jesus to help you carry that burden. At the same time, accept the burden. Offer the suffering up for the good of the church and embrace it. Jesus could have avoided the cross. Instead, he embraced it and through the cross, he restored for us the opportunity for eternal life. In our own small way, through Jesus, our burdens can be transformed to great good. With Jesus at your side, these burdens will feel lighter. For Jesus said in Matthew 11:28 to 30, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. 
After all, it is not through your own strength, but through the gift of grace from Jesus, by which we can draw close to God and do his will. We merely call out and ask Jesus to help us pray, to help us be like him. It is he who transforms us into the best version of ourselves when we actively seek him out and consent in doing his will, to trusting in him. Always remember, especially when life is getting you down, that you are made in the image of God, that you are invited to live in the heart of the Holy Trinity as God's children. You are a son or daughter of God. You were made for greatness. Nobody can ever take this from you. This series hopefully is a step towards reawakening the message of truth that has been passed on for generations, which many heroes, saints and scholars have fought and died for because the message of truth is worth more than life itself. We all have a part to play. I sincerely pray that you grow to know, love and serve God in this life so you can enter into eternal happiness with him in the next. Germani Diagwich, may God bless you.